Who am I to tell you what your purpose is? I'm not! <laughs> then why watch this video? Because one person is qualified to tell you what your purpose is. And that's you. What I'm about to say in this video is not factual, they're not all truth, it's just what I believe. By all means, take the ones that work for you and discard the ones that don't. That being said, let's discover how to find your purpose in life instantly, starting with the first idea, now. Number one, you are more than one thing. It's so easy in life to think about your purpose and think about one thing, your career, what you do for a living. But you might have so high expectations of getting fulfillment from this one thing that when you don't meet it, you're often devastated and disappointed. And here's the downfall to having a one thing mentality. Let's say you've done some soul searching and you've discovered you're going to be a dentist. You go to dental school, you now have your own practice. You're super jazzed up about being a dentist. But one morning you come in early, you make a mistake because you're tired. You give a patient too much Novocaine and it kills them. Their parents sue you, you lose your license, and you can never be a dentist again. With this one thing mentality, you would think that this individual, because they cannot be a dentist, have lost purpose in their life. I believe this is nonsense. I think there are so many jobs you can do in life, so many skill sets you have that can add value to people. Plus, you're more than your career anyway. You could be a father, you could be a mother, you could be a brother, you could be a sister, you could be a friend. There's so many avenues in life to bring your life purpose. And when you do this with one thing, those expectations for that one thing don't get met and you're often left disappointed. You are so much more than one thing. Number two, build an empire. Many of us have this need for importance. We're driven by our ego to be the tallest building in the world. Because if we're the tallest, we're the best. And when we're the best, we feel great about ourselves. But I've found that when you do this, when you're competing with other people, you often feel you're never enough. Oftentimes there are other people out there that are taller than you, and it can make you feel inadequate. That's why I've chosen to switch my mentality to going from building the tallest building to building an empire. Not using your skill sets and talents to build yourself up, but to use your skill sets and talents to build others up, to bring value to their lives. It's a choice you have to make. Tallest building or building an empire? Number three, open your heart's door. I'm sure when you leave for work in the morning, you lock your door because you have valuable stuff inside and you don't want someone to come in and take it. If you don't have purpose in your life, you're probably doing this with your heart as well. You lock the door on your heart. There is a benefit. No one can come in and take the love, but the downfall is that love can't come out. I believe there's love and abundance in you, and when your door is shut, it cannot come out. If you have the courage and you're willing to be vulnerable and open your heart and give the world who you truly are, the love that's inside you, the world really craves this love that's inside you. If you open the door, I believe you'll find your purpose, and you'll realize you have nothing to be afraid of. Someone could take your love, but it's in abundance. The love you put out comes back tenfold, and when your heart's open, that's when you find your purpose. That's when you're living a purposeful life. Next, feel fully. This idea was inspired by transformational speaker Kyle Cease. He said, we're not here to feel happy, we're here to feel fully. It's up to you what you want to do with your life. If you want to pursue a life of pleasure and happiness, that is dependent upon circumstances and happenings, or to experience the roller coaster emotion of life and truly enjoy it, embracing the highs and the lows. One example could be when you're lonely. Maybe someone just broke up with you that you've been dating for a long time. And instead of processing it, you seek distraction. Watching TV, eating ice cream, trying to find the next person to fill that void. But what if life is about processing the highs and the lows. What if you just sat down and realized that it's okay to be alone? You'd no longer be afraid of feeling these lows and you'll find that these low moments often take you to your highest highs. I've made a video on how to overcome loneliness. I'll leave a card to that now, but let's move on to the next one. And lastly, experience your life. Many of us make this mistake of thinking, there's no way I could find my purpose. Someone out there who's wiser and smarter has to tell me. 
I need to discover it in a video or a book. It's not gonna work. Life is about experiences. You don't know what you like. You don't know what you don't like. You don't know what you're good at. You don't know what you're not good at until you go out and experience it. All I'm saying is it's so easy to be a spectator in life, to watch others living out their dreams, doing wonderful things and thinking that you can't do it or waiting for a time that is most comfortable for you. I challenge you today, whatever it is that you're afraid of or something you're curious about, go out and do it, experience it. And whether success or failure, it'll be a learning experience and it'll make you a better person. And when you're becoming a better person, you're living a purposeful life. If you found this video helpful and want more like it, subscribe to my channel today and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. This is your friend Michael, inspiring you to learn, laugh, and love. Hope you enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you in the next one.